Good morning, everyone. Let's get started. Welcome, everyone, to oral session 3A on stereo and reconstruction. Um, as usual, we have 13 minutes per presentation and two minutes for question, and we really encourage you to ask questions. Um, so we have five talks in this session, and the first talk is on MVSNet depth inference for unstructured multi-view stereo by Yao Yao, Sixin Luo, Shi Wei Lei, Tiang Fang, and Long Quan. And the presentation is given by Yao Yao. Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And today I will present our work, MVSNet depth inference for unstructured multi-view stereo. So first of all, uh, allow me to give a brief review on the multi-view stereo problem. Given a set of in overlapping images and cameras, multi-view stereo aims to recover the 3D representation of the scene, usually the 3D point cloud, depth mesh, and the 3D meshes. Uh, the classical multi-view stereo solutions utilize the handcrafted matching cost. And for example, the sum of square differences and a normalized cross-correlation to match pixels in different images. And then uh, some sophisticated algorithms will be applied to regularize the pixel-wise matching cost. And the most popular algorithms for multi-view stereo uh, are based on matching propagation. For example, the early cozy dance reconstruction and the patch-based multi-view stereo PMVS and the recent Gip Puma and Comat. And other methods include uh, semi-global matching and global optimizations. Well, for the classical multi-view stereo, uh, they have uh, achieved excellent reconstruction accuracy, especially for the well-tested areas. However, when it comes to the non lambertian or the textureless surfaces, uh, the classical method often results in incomplete reconstructions, and there are large rooms for improving the reconstruction completeness. For the recent learning-based methods, they have shown great potentials for improving the 3D reconstruction quality. And for the ratified 2 view stereo, uh, researchers have applied the learning-based matching, co um, the learning-based cost matrix and the learning-based cost volume regularization to the problem, and now have surpassed the traditional methods and have dominated the Kitty stereo benchmarks. Well, for the multi-view stereo, there are also attempts on learning the multi-patch similarity. And uh, we have also tried to apply the 3D convolutions for the volumetric-based surface regularization. And some of the recent learning-based methods have shown comparable results to the traditional MVS methods. However, uh, the multi-view stereo benchmarks are still occupied by the traditional methods, and there are uh, still a way to go. For the learning-based multi-view stereo, uh, there are mainly three challenges. Uh, the first one is the unstructured camera geometry. Unlike the two-view stereo problem where the images are ratified in advance, uh, multi-view stereo needs to consider the camera geometry <coughs> and uh, of each image input. So the biggest problem is how to combine the deterministic camera geometry with the deep learning framework. And the second <coughs> challenge is the unknown image input number. How should we design a network for arbitrary numbers of image input? And the third challenge is the generalization ability of the network. Uh, because the multi-view stereo training data is rather limited when compared to other computer vision tasks. So to this end, we present an end-to-end -end deep learning architecture for multi-view stereo reconstruction. And the proposed MVSNet will take multi-view images as input and infers the depth map for the reference image. Uh, the camera geometries uh, will be encoded as the differentiable homography warping in the network, and we design a variance-based cost matrix to support arbitrary unview input. And for the network, 
uh, we first extract the thick image features of each image input through a 2D convolutional layers. And then these image features will be warped into the frontal parallel plane of the reference image according to the homography transformation. And, and we, will find, uh, we will form the feature volumes in the 3D space. So this process is uh, very much similar to the classical plane sweeping stereo. And it said that we use the differentiable bilinear interpolation to sample the uh, features rather than sample the image pixels. And then, uh, and also the whole warping process is implemented in the differentiable manner. So after the, uh, uh, after the differentiable homography warping, uh, we will get unfeatured volumes. So the next step is to combine the unfeatured volumes into one single cost volume. And we propose a variance-based cost matching that we calculate the element-wise variance of the feature volumes and to explicitly measure their differences. Also, the variance operation takes arbitrary numbers of elements as input. And as a result, MVSNet is able to support arbitrary unveiled images input and without, find, uh, without retraining the neural network. Uh, next, similar to other stereo and multi-view stereo algorithms, we apply a 3D unit to the network for the cost volume regularization. And the output of this step will go through a softmax layer to form a probability volume. With the probability distribution in the space, uh, we then calculate the expectation of each pixel steps as the initial depth map. And this step is also referred to soft max in other depth regression tasks. And to further refine the depth map, especially in the boundary areas, we concatenate the depth map and the reference images and apply a refinement network to estimate the depth residual of the initial depth map. And the refined depth map is the MVS net final output. Uh, for the training loss, we calculate the absolute differences between the infra depth maps and the ground truth depth map. Uh, the initial depth map and the refined depth map are both considered here. So, so far we have introduced how MVSNet generates the depth map. Uh, to further obtain the 3D point cloud, uh, we can apply the depth map filter and the depth map fusion for the post processing. So, in this work, we propose two criteria for the robust depth map filter. The first one is the photometry consistency, which measures the matching quality. Uh, as mentioned in the previous slides, uh, MVSNet will generate a probability volume for the depth map regression. So, in fact, this probability volume uh, can also reflect the uh, depth map reconstruction quality. Uh, for well, uh, well reconstructed pixels, their probability distribution will be concentrated to one peak. And for the badly reconstructed pixels, uh, the distribution is, uh, is often scattered and can be easily identified. So, in our experiment, we regard the depth with probability smaller than uh, 0 0.8 as outliers. And, uh, oh, okay. The second criteria for the depth map filter is the geometry consistency, uh, which will measure the multi view depth consistency. It is like a multi view version of uh, left right checking, and we will only retain the pixels whose depth uh, is at least three view visible. So after the depth map filter, we will apply the visibility-based uh, depth, depth map fusion and the mean average depth map fusion to further enhance the depth map reconstruction. 
and then, and then the fields that test maps will be directly pro that projected into the space to form the 3D point cloud. And this figure shows how uh, the processing pipeline of the MVS net. First, uh, uh, the network will generate the inferred, uh, inferred depth maps and the probability map. And then this depth map will be filtered and fused to the point cloud. So we can see our depth map filter are very effective with the probability guidance. Um, for the experiment, we have trained and benchmarked MVSNet in the DTU MVS benchmark. And we split the data set into training, evaluation, and testing sets. Uh, in the evaluation data set, MVSNet achieved the highest F score compared to other methods. And it is noteworthy that uh, we, got significantly improve, uh, we got significant improvement in the reconstruction completeness. And also, our method runs in a faster speed at around five seconds per view. And here is the qualitative result of MSNet. And our method generates the most uh, complete result compared to other methods, and especially in those uh, textureless and uh, non lumbation areas. And this is a close loop between our result and the uh, ground truth point cloud. And we have also evalu evaluated our method on a large scale outdoor tanks and temple data set. And as the ground truths of the depth map are not available in this data set, we just uh, change the model on DTU directly and apply to the tanks and temple data set without fine tuning. And our method ranks first be, uh, before mid April, and it is the first learning based method submitted to this online benchmark. And here is the qualitative result uh, in the tanks and temple data set. So to summarize this talk, uh, we have presented an end-to-end multi-view stereo learning framework where the camera geometries are encoded as the differentiable homography warping. And the variance-based matrix has been proposed to support arbitrary unview input. Our MVS net can significantly boost the reconstruction completeness and the overall quality. For the future works, uh, we think more MVS training data is necessary to further enhance the MVS net reconstruction. And moreover, we may need to pay more attention to the scalability issue uh, of the learning based multi view stereo. So, thanks for your listening. You may check out our code on this GitHub page and welcome to our poster section. Thank you very much. I'm sure there are some questions. There's microphones in each aisle, so no excuse. <laughs> Thomas has a question. Yeah, is it on? Oh. Um, can you say something about uh, limitations with regard to overlap between the frames? Because you have some reference frame. So oh. what happens if your frame is too far away from the reference frame? OK, so, so let me uh, go back to the very first page. There is a multiverse theory. Oh, cool. uh, yeah. yeah, we have uh, tested in the uh, supplementing material that uh, the reconstruction is also related to the uh, baseline angle. Yeah, and in our setting, the baseline angle is uh, the best baseline angle is set to five degree, and we have tested the ten degree, twenty degree, thirty degree, and finds uh, the reconstruction quality is. Uh, uh, will drop, but but it is okay for for even the thirty degree, the baseline angle. Yeah. Just a note that there is now a training set for tanks and temples oh, online really? with ground truth depth maps, so you could use that for training. Oh, that's great! <laughs> Beautiful I work. I have looked for that for a very long time. <laughs> Thank you. 
let me ask one more question. Um, do you, like your method assumes poses to be given, right? Do you have any ideas how to extend that model to also estimate the camera poses? Uh, so so the, it's about the scalability of the... No, the camera uh, pose the you assume to be given, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any idea how to extend this to like a full multi-view reconstruction pipeline where also the poses, you just take a collection of images uh, as input? Yes. Uh, I think the poses, uh, maybe it is another problem, but very li related to the multi -view stereo. Uh, so for the learning-based uh, uh, post regression, I think there are many works, but I haven't tried, tried them yet. And maybe there are a way to do the post and depth map uh, uh, together uh, in an end-to-end learning framework. And maybe there are many research on the slang community. Yeah. But for me, I, I do not have dig into this part. Yeah. Let's thank the speaker again. Oh, okay. Thank you.